740. Hey, let's go out to Martinez, California, and speak with uh, Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Thank you for taking the call, Steve. How are you doing? Hey. I'm doing very well. Thanks for asking. And uh, Twillo uh, is the equity, TWLO, folks, that we're going to take a look at. And uh, now I'm sure that our dinners are all ears to want to know what is Brent doing with Twillo or Twillo. I actually don't have, a, I don't have a position, but I thought it was a pretty good example of a potential short. I just, okay. uh, there's some things I liked about it. If you look at on a daily and a weekly as it went up to those highs, had less relative energy. It's uh, coming off of the high with some volume. I just uh, wanted to see what different levels of potential support it had. Yeah, okay, cool. So on, on Twilio, what was it that led to the volume so far today? Do you know any any ideas what? It was, uh, it was earnings came out after the market closed, and so that's why the things got uh, it. has the volume and is, is, has the negativity in it today. Okay. All right. So you're asking a, a really great question here. Where is support? Now, the first chart that I'm going to put up on my screen here is going to be the weekly time frame. And on the weekly time frame, uh, here is a perfect example of what Brent, Brent was talking about. Price moving higher, new with less relative energy. Plus, it has... No, the week has not come to an end. It's only Wednesday. It's only hump day. But if the week were ending, we would say, okay, here's your bearish reversal signal up at that high to suggest lower price. Now, on a weekly time frame basis, support is 106.46. So the confirmation that this would want to trade lower would be a close underneath 106.46. So far, price has just tested that level and has bounced off of it. So all that we've seen with regard to this topping type pattern in Stevie's work uh, is a test of support. A break of that, and then my eyes always go back to the prior swing point, unless there's something else that sticks out to me, and that's the December 28th level. So that would be a target uh, should this thing close below 106.47. Now, if we take a look at... Um, if we take a look at the daily time frame chart, what's nice about this, Brent, is we can take a look at the bottom of its TAS market profile, which so far today has been nothing more than a test of that level. So there's another level of support, and that number is 107.83. Again, it's trading, folks, at 108.71. So a close below that says, okay, you've got a key level of support that's broken, but then I would go back to the weekly time frame just for the extra confirmation, which is just a few bucks down on $108 stock out there. So that's what I see as areas of support um, that this thing would have to uh, break through. And then from a target standpoint, on the weekly time frame, it would be the 66 or 69 level. That's the bottom of its weekly box, which would uh, be below actually the December 24th low out there. But that's what I see when I take a look at Twilio. So what is it that's going to uh, that's going to convince you that you should take a short? What you just said, Steve. <laughs> if I saw it go below those levels and hold there and continue okay. to go down, and of course it's going to be that's going to be an even more bearish candle if it were to do that on a weekly. Sure. So that would be you know something I would like to see, and it has enough room I think in it that you can be patient with it. There's no reason to jump on it at this moment. So. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. Now, Twilio, are they are they in the? I don't know. Are they in the real? Where are they in the real estate, or, or is that something else? Am I thinking of something that's, else? That, that's Zillow. I think you're thinking Zillow. of Zillow. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah there's all exactly. these silly companies. I just look at the charts personally, but I mean, it's good to know a little bit about what they do. But if I yeah. see the thing doing, you know, it, it has much more to do with what the charts do and all the technicals that you talk about. I try to follow. Yes. Yes. So that, that's well, kind of look, more you're absolutely it, right. You know, the most not, fundamental thing is what our shareholders are doing. Right? The, 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 the chart itself we're agnostic to because the patterns are going to be the same, right? Yep. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing, which means for everybody listening out there is that, uh, you know, find tools that you can use and uh, then you can trade anything on any time frame. And that's the beauty of it all. So, Brent, always good to hear your voice. Thanks for alerting us to uh, Twilio, T-W-L-O, and uh, we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. You have a wonderful day. Take care. You, you, you too.